Good afternoon and welcome back to the Leadership Institute studios. I'm Kyle Bache, Communications Manager here at the Leadership Institute and your host for today's broadcast. Our webinar topic today is a Marketing Manager's Guide to Facebook Live and we're joined today by Lauren Evans, the Multimedia Specialist at the Heritage Foundation and The Daily Signal. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kyle. Um, before we get into today's broadcast, I'd like to remind you all at home that you can have your questions asked and answered live today. And you do that by emailing us at live at leadershipinstitute.org and follow in and join in the conversation using the hashtag LIWebinar. With that, let's get right into today's topic. Lauren, what is this almost new uh, Facebook Live tool that is now available for everybody with a Facebook page. Awesome, well, well again, thank you for having me. Uh, really excited about this lecture. Um, like Kyle mentioned, I work for the Heritage Foundation uh, and also with their publication, The Daily Signal. Um, and we're gonna talk about Facebook Live. And Facebook Live is really cool because A, it's a new technology that did, did not exist five, 10 years ago. Uh, and B, Facebook is really pushing it. So uh, if utilized correctly, this is a great way to grow your brand, it's a great way to be topical, and it's a great way um, you know, to really get your message out there and be part of the news. Mm -hmm. um, so just to start off, um, what is Facebook Live? Uh, it's an online streaming platform. Uh, with little to no experience, all you need is one of these. Uh, you can reach a large uh, audience uh, with Facebook Live. How does it work? So it takes this video feed and audio feed from my phone that I'm recording, uh, and it sends it to the Facebook server. From there, uh, viewers from all over can pull that feed from the Facebook server and watch um, on their computer. It sounds a little elementary, but you gotta think it through <laughs> exactly how it works. Uh, another really cool thing about Facebook Live um, that Facebook has been doing with their videos, and it does the same with the live, uh, as people are scrolling through their news feed, I know you're probably never bored at work scrolling through your news feed, uh, <laughs> but it does, it, uh, the videos are, are playing. So um, it's, it catches people's eye, uh, they're more likely to see it. So it starts like any other video in your news feed where you, know, you scroll through, it doesn't have volume right away, but it's still gonna start playing and automatically. Exactly, so that's why it's important, uh, and we'll go over this later, but just to make sure that you're always moving, always be ex mm -hmm. being exciting. Um, so why is Facebook Live so cool? Uh, I have here on this slide, um, this is a news van, and it's honestly not even that old of a news van, um, but this is what you used to need to go live. You would have to ha send the signal literally up into space mm -hmm. uh, and receive it in a news station to pump it live. But now we can do this literally from our phones right here. Um, so it's just, a, it's, it's a way the technology has evolved and allows you to connect with people. Um, you can answer questions in real time. This is something that Facebook is really pushing with it. Um, that as you're, you're engaging your audience, this isn't a, you know, I'm talking to you to the screen. This is a, a conversation that you're having. Mm -hmm. um, and you can show places and things that the traditional media won't cover. Um, you know, your own events you can cover. Uh, you know, you might be walking down the street and seeing news happening. You can pull out your phone and start broadcasting live. Uh, you know, with, with computers, it's kind of breaking down that, that fourth estate, uh, but this is just further, you know, you can be part of the news, mm -hmm. just not the news. Right. And like anything on Facebook, you can, as you mentioned earlier, you know, you're talking with people not just in the room with you or even in the city you're in, but, you know, different states, different countries throughout the world kind of a thing. Yeah, all you need is an internet connection. Um, you don't need a Facebook account to mm -hmm. view a Facebook Live uh, if your page is public. Um, if you want to comment, you would need a mm -hmm. Facebook page, but with, what, a billion right. people having it, it's... Mm -hmm. And while we're on the topic a little bit, um, are you going to talk about uh, how you go about answering questions in real time later on in the presentation, or can you give us a, you know, a yeah, brief... a little, a little yeah. sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to. Um, so just like with anything, um, the comments post at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so like you're commenting on a picture, you just see it. Uh, there's lots of different ways. Uh, we've worked with using a teleprompter. Uh, we've worked with just literally writing it on uh, a piece of paper and holding it up for the, the person <laughs> to see. Uh, we've worked with an iPad, sending people texts and emails. Um, you know, there's lots of different creative ways uh, based on your budget, based on your needs that you can use uh, to pull up. And you know, Facebook Live is one of those platforms where it's informal, it's fun. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're looking down at your phone, 
for questions. I mean, don't spend the whole time down there looking. <laughs> but it's it's totally acceptable to be right. You know, right. looking for people. Um, and a lot of things. One really cool thing that has just kind of caught on on the Facebook world is people. As soon as you start, people start commenting where they're from because they're excited to be part of the conversation. You know, mm -hmm. hi, I'm Susan from Pennsylvania, and I'm Lauren from Florida, and I'm Kyle from Virginia, uh, and things like that. Uh, which is just a really kind of cool way to get to know your audience. Um, so there's a, lots of other streaming platforms out there, and they've been along, around longer. Uh, live stream, you stream, uh, we all stream for I stream. <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, and YouTube Live. Um, and these are great resources. Uh, what's cool about Facebook Live is it's native to Facebook. You stay on Facebook. All you need is a Facebook account to see it. Um, like with live stream or Ustream, it's a third party page. Right. People are less likely to right. click on a link. Um, you know, there are great applications for it, whether it might be if you're mm -hmm. embedding it into your page, you know, maybe you're sending out an email campaign and it's easier right. to link to that rather than to Facebook. Uh, you know, YouTube is great because it's part of YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, you can link to your channel. Um, so I would never not discourage people from using these. Uh, but you know, definitely see Facebook as a Facebook Live as a tool uh, mm -hmm. to get your brand out on a place that people right. are already at. Well, and another thing about Facebook Live has got to be that you know it's right in your news feed. It shows up right in your news feed. Generally, if it's something you are personally interested in or your customers are personally interested in, it's going to be at the top of your page, of their news feed, and it's going to start playing almost right away. Exactly. And, and, uh, and the step to the next step is pretty easy <laughs> yeah. to get them to focus. Yeah, exactly. And also, too, um, it's a lot easier for your viewers to share it. Mm -hmm. It's just a click of a button for right. them. Uh, and that one person watching could turn into 10 people who could turn into 100 people. Um, so uh, how to access Facebook Live? Uh, the cool thing is that everybody watching, as long as you have a Facebook page, you have Facebook Live. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, just in the context of this presentation, um, we're talking about it in terms of your organization. So if you want to do a Facebook Live with your organization, you need to be an admin on the page. Um, you made me an editor of the Leadership mm -hmm. Institute yeah. page. Uh, I know there's different steps. I think pretty much every level of admins that you can make somebody mm -hmm. uh, can Facebook Live. Um, you need to do it through your phone. Um, you can't Facebook Live from your computer. Um, so you just either need the Facebook app Mm -hmm. which I'm sure everybody has, <laughs> um, or also the Pages app, which right. is um, very similar to the Facebook app, but mm -hmm. it's just easier to access your pa pages. Right. It's free. It's in the App Store. It's in the Google Play Store. Um, and so all you have to do is literally go to your page, um, click Publish, just like you were creating a status, uh, and then go live. Um, it's the same thing with the Pages app. Uh, you log in with your personal information that's associated with your page. Uh, you select the page that you want to go live for, and you go live. Um, you can also, using a third-party system, go live as well. Um, but we're going to talk about that later. I didn't want to get too much in the weeds to that. But, but there is ways to access it from your computer. Mm -hmm. Before we go any further, we have our first oh, question excellent. in from our live audience. <laughs> and our first question comes from Bethany, who, Hi, Bethany. Wants, who wants to know, um, in order for you to see or answer questions within you know, your, your, your uh, live feed, do you actually need to have a second person, someone there monitoring the questions? Or could you do it with one person, with literally them talking and then being able to read the, the, the comments so, that are coming in? Bethany, great question. Thank you again. Um, I would definitely recommend another person. Um, we've all been on Facebook. We all know how internet comments can be. Not everyone is going to be a great question, right? Um, like Bethany had. <laughs> but uh, you know, so having a second person to help kind of filter through, and also so you're not looking down on your phone. You know, if you're a one-man operation, just do your best. Again, mm -hmm. this is an informal platform. Um, you know, it, it kind of the, it, it's the grassroots feel of it. Right. Uh, you know, if you need to take a second to look down at your phone, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a lot of uh, kind of like s very small celebrities just have their phone up and uh, you know going through and, mm -hmm. and talking and, and right. people care about the engagement. Um, they care about being heard and, and uh, talking back and forth more than they care about you looking down on your phone. Right. So so you want to be professional, but don't let your strive for professional stop <laughs> the actual content. Naturally, great, great, awesome. All right. So why is Facebook pushing Facebook Live? Great question, Lauren. Um, 
So uh, Facebook is always striving to be on the cutting edge of content. Um, I remember I was in high school. It was just cool to get on a site that allowed you to post links and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so this is kind of the next step for them. They want to compete with Netflix. They want to compete with YouTube. They want to compete even with cable companies. So they really want the content on Facebook to be great. And so one thing in order to get this great content, what Facebook is doing is their algorithm, which pushes things up in the news feed and down in the news feed, um, is really pushing these live videos. Uh, also videos as well. I, separate lecture, but really encourage you, if you're not going to do a live video, at least do a video. Um, but with live videos, it goes to the top of people's news feeds. People are more likely to see it. They're more likely to engage in it. Um, so use this as a tool. You know, if you post a link, maybe you only get 10 likes. But if you're posting a live video, uh, even me on my personal Facebook page have posted a live video and within a couple of minutes gotten 200, 300 views. Um, so it's just a really cool tool. And, and Facebook is really pushing you and really rewarding you for using it. Um, so what do you need to get up and running? Um, I'm going to go through this uh, in a, um, we're going to go over the basics and then we're going to go over different levels because I know I'm sure our audience, there's lots of different, different levels of organizations, whether you're a one-man shop or, you know, whether you're a huge organization uh, like the Leadership Institute. Um, so kind of bear with me on every step. If you have questions, let me know uh, and please be taking notes and even if you want to follow up afterwards. Uh, I'm happy to work with, with any group who wants to grow their online presence um, and kind of delve deeper into these categories mm -hmm. with you. So the basics, you need an audience. If there's nobody <laughs> watching, why would you do it? Um, you need a phone. Um, this is your camera. This is you know just like the cameras we're sitting in front of. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what would broadcast right. it out to the and, and it has to be a smartphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can't be on your Motorola <laughs> Razor. Right. Um, you know, I re would recommend an iPhone, mm -hmm. um, the Android equivalent, not your Galaxy right. Note 7. <laughs> um, Might want to send that one back. Yeah, but, uh, you know, just something, uh, a good phone. You should know if your phone's good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, if you never get signal, if you can't take a right. picture, probably not a best phone. But pretty much any iPhone um, that you still have should work. Um, any Galaxy phone. Uh, you need an internet connection, whether that's a Wi-Fi connection. Um, whether that's a Ethernet connection if you're on uh, a computer, uh, if that's 3G or LTE, um, and then external equipment. We're going to get into that in a minute. Um, as you grow more professional in your Facebook Lives, you'll want to get uh, microphones and you'll want to mm -hmm. get um, you know, different stands and uh, stuff like that. So if nobody's watching, why would you go live? <laughs> um, I just made that joke before. <laughs> but um, you know, you want. The reason to do this is to be exciting, is to grow your brand. If you're just going to sit there and talk to the camera like this, you're not doing Facebook Live right. right. This is being real. This is, this is being exciting. This is taking your message into the field. Uh, at the Daily Signal, we just did a Facebook Live at a Planned Parenthood Center in Washington, D.C., uh, and there was a protest there. And so one of, uh, it was a pastor protesting, and he actually walked around the whole building with us. And we were able to see kind of every facet. And it was just really interesting. Um, you know, to kind of go on this journey with him. Uh, so, you know, be, be exciting and, and go where your audience wants to go. Um, you want to be topical, you, you want to be entertaining, and you want to be interesting. Um, I'm trying to think of something, <laughs> a recent news event. But, you know, find a recent news event and, and base your Facebook Live on that. Uh, Facebook has trending words. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if your Facebook is, if your live is associated with that, it'll be pushed higher into the algorithm. Uh, be educational. People who learn stuff uh, will come back. Uh, we have enough mind-numbing content out there. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't have to be a lecture, uh, but, you know, show somebody something they don't know. Show them somebody they don't know. Um, make them better than they were before they watched right. it. Uh, and be interesting. Again, if it's not interesting, <laughs> nobody's going to watch. Uh, and again, grow your brand. Um, whether you're a person, whether you're an organization, uh, whether you're just an idea, you know, all you have mm -hmm. uh, is your name and your reputation. So use this to, to get excited and um, and mm -hmm. and get your message out right. uh, and talked about. And a lot of this has to also, I mean, the be topical, be educational, be interesting. 
a lot of that's got to do with understanding who your audience is as well. So going in and maybe looking at Facebook Insights, which we could do a whole other mm -hmm. lecture on, uh, many other different you know, platforms to figure out who exactly is interested in your content to begin with. Exactly. Um, and you can, with the insights, you can see, you know, when are, is the viewership peaking? Mm -hmm. And you can see uh, one video versus another video. Uh, and that's another thing about Facebook Live, too. You can say, hey, tell me what you, what you want to hear about next week. Mm -hmm. People can comment. You can use that. Um, so, so uh, you know, this is a new medium. Mm -hmm. People's understanding the way right. people interact with it are always growing. So be part of, of that growing process mm -hmm. in uh, Right. Uh, I mean, the key to s Facebook is to be social. I mean, yeah. it's social media for a reason. Like, create a conversation with your your viewers, and that I mean. Exactly. I think um, one of our at the Heritage Foundation, one of our best Facebook lives was right after Brexit. Um, mm. We did a uh, um, an interview with someone from our Mar Margaret Thatcher Center. Uh, and then we showed a video of somebody raising a Union Jack on top of Heritage with the, mm. with the Capitol in the background. Um, so simple, right. but just topical and, and cool. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. people wanted to see what the weather was like in DC. They wanted to see the Capitol Dome in the background. Um, so, you know, just get creative and right. get interesting. All right, so phone or camera. Um, Always carry a charger with you uh, and make sure your phone is charged. If you go live with a 10% battery, don't be surprised when your battery dies in the middle of it. Um, never take the Facebook Live selfies. I see people do it on my newsfeed all the time. I was telling Kyle, there's a gentleman who I'm Facebook friends with who does Facebook Lives where he just rants in the camera in the dark like this. Nobody's gonna watch it. You're just gonna come off creepy. Um, keep the lens clean. Um, I feel like I'm just shaming all my friends now. <laughs> but I do have another friend whose just phone lens was always dirty, and we would joke that every photo he took looked like it was underwater because it was just like so blurry. Um, so, you know, buy a lens wipe. At least do this with your, with your, uh, your jacket or your, your skirt. Um, start with automatic settings, but adjust accordingly. Uh, make sure the focus is right. Make sure the lighting's right. Uh, I hold the camera horizontally. Um, when you use Facebook Live on your phone, it's only a square image, but it's just good practice to keep. Um, nobody likes ever seeing photos like this. Uh, and also, too, you can get a better grip. Um, and you can pan better like this. So internet connection. Types of connections, there's 3G and LTE. Um, know your connection. If you think you could stream a Netflix show, you probably have enough bandwidth to stream a um, to stream on Facebook Live, you know, if if you're like me and you have Sprint and you have 3G, I know I'm not going to have good service. So just kind of know. We'll talk in just a second how to kind of quantify these numbers. A uh, Wi-Fi, same thing as 3G and LTE. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you're on a solid Wi-Fi connection. Um, you know, if the router's all the way on the other side of the building, and you lose the signal all the time, probably not a great idea to go live. <laughs> uh, so just be smart about it. Right. Uh, Hardline or Ethernet, um, if you can, they do make uh, like Hardline adapters for iPads. Um, if you can, always use Ethernet. Um, I know a lot of times with your phone that's not an option, um, but we'll talk in a little bit how to use your computer to live stream. If you can, that's always going to work. If you have a Hardline connection and the connection is solid, you're never going to drop your thing. But with Wi Wi-Fi will fail you, 3G will fail you, LTE will fail you. Um, so understanding the data used. Um, so there's SD and there's HD. And kind of the cool thing about Facebook Live is uh, depending on how you're streaming uh, or how good your connection is, it will actually um, either condense or make your video better. Um, typically, when you're streaming from your phone, it will stream at about 360. Um, P, which just, that just means the image size, how many pixels wide it is. Um, let's see how many pixels tall. Uh, 720 is HD. Um, that's if you're on a really great internet connection, it will do that. Um, it does not stream in 1080. That's why I don't even have it listed. Uh, Facebook does record your stream as you record. So if you do have a really bad patch where your signal gets really bad, uh, chances are when it actually re uploads afterwards, it will be better. Mm -hmm. So don't get concerned until the very end. 
Um, and depending on the other person's internet connection on the other side, that will also depend on their quality. Um, so, so don't expect Facebook Live to be a cinematic picture. Um, it, if you're out in the field, it probably will be a you know, one by one aspect ratio, about 360. Um, it'll, it'll be fine, people can mm -hmm. see you, uh, but you know, it's not gonna be beautiful. So internet speeds and data usage, and this is what I was just talking about a couple of minutes ago. And I know this tech stuff is a little, little crazy. <laughs> just bear with me a couple more minutes. I wanna make sure you have the understanding of it. Um, but again, I will give you my email at the end if you have any questions. Uh, don't let this turn you off. Um, so test your internet speed. If you've never done it before, I just recommend Google internet speed test. Google now has one, Netflix has one. Um, there's Speakeasy, there's Ookla. I mean, there's just so many ones, and I don't have a favorite. So just Google. What it'll do, it'll find a server near you, it'll send a little ping to that server, and then it'll send it back. And using that ping, it will tell you how fast your internet speeds are. Um, for SD streaming, I recommend between three and five megabytes per second, uh, megabits per second. And for HD streaming, I recommend above 10. Um, this is like if you're doing a, Facebook Live with a very important person uh, and you don't want to drop it. You know, if you want to experiment with Facebook Live and you don't have three to five, just try it. The worst thing that'll happen is it'll stop. Um, but for important events and kind of the standard that you want to hold yourself to, uh, try to keep between three and five for SD and over 10 for HD. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So budgeting and external products. This is kind of what we were talking about before. Uh, I know there's lots of different people on here and there's lots of different organizations. I'm gonna go through, okay, and I, I broke it up into these categories. No money, little <laughs> money, some money, and a lot of money. Um, so, you know, don't let this be cost prohibitive to anybody. Uh, use this technology um, and kind of figure out what, what mm -hmm. is best for you. You know, there's different <coughs> combinations of this you can use. Um, and, you know, you can really make this look very professional. Um, in terms of once you, you get your own studio and your own equipment. All right, so no money. Make sure that you have a quiet area and a well-lit space. Um, so f on your phone, this is an omnidirectional microphone, and what that means is it picks up uh, audio from all the way around here. So, you know, I might be doing a Facebook Live here and Kyle's talking. It will pick up his voice just as well as mine. Uh, if people could, don't understand you, they won't listen to you. Um, hold the camera comfortably close to the subject. Uh, and why I use the term comfortably close <laughs> is because you want to be close enough where you can hear the person, but you don't want to be so close where mm -hmm. it's really awkward. Right. Nobody wants to see up anybody else's nose. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you and I were sitting here and doing a Facebook Live, you know, I might hold it here, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even a little bit further right. back. Um, and, and, and we'll demonstrate some of this if we have time at the end of the broadcast yeah, today. Yeah, we're, we're really excited to, to, to kind of show you how it works. Um, and use subtle, slow camera movements, uh, and don't try to hold it as try to hold it as still as possible. Um, so you know, if I was doing Kyle and I wanted to pan over to the camera, you know, just like mm -hmm. you, like you would. Oh, excuse me, I'm doing my own bad practice. Like you would turn your head. You know, if you were looking for one thing or another, you wouldn't go. Uh, you, you would I'm kind hurt. of. <laughs> you would you would think about it, um, and. Nobody's a robot, nobody can hold the camera exactly still, mm -hmm. so don't feel bad. Um, but just practice holding it really still. Mm -hmm. uh, people are watching it, they understand it's live. Right, um, and, and it's part of the authenticity of the whole project. Exactly, we find a lot of times it's some of our uh, ones in the field where it's a little shaky actually do better because people like right. the, the authenticity. Excuse me. All right, little money. So there's an old saying uh, in film school and production school everything, uh, that 90% of video is audio. Uh, and what that means is that you can have a beautiful video, you know, you can have great colors and great contrast, uh, but if you can't hear the subjects, you're not gonna watch it. Um, so that's why the first thing I would invest when you're um, building up your Facebook Live kind of uh, chest is in a microphone. Um, all these products I've researched they have great Amazon uh, reviews. I have not used it myself, so this is an, a glowing endorsement, but a lot of people on Amazon have said they're great, they're inexpensive, um, they should be a really great start for you. 
Uh, so this is the Eden Productions Lavalier Clip-On Omnidirectional Condenser Lapel Microphone. I know that's a mouthful. Um, but basically, it looks uh, just like this. Uh, it, it, there's a little clip. Uh, the wire goes back. The wire will then plug it right into your phone, just like this. Uh, and that way, you're able to pick up the audio directly from the source. It isn't mm -hmm. pulling it from three feet away. Right. It's pulling it right from there. Um, so this goes back to what we were just talking to about comfortably close. If you're getting the audio here, you don't have to be as close. <laughs> so I would get an extension, and then part of the extension, I would get a splitter. So you could get two people on your Facebook Live, and they can have a discussion. And you can stand you know, then four or five feet back instead of being right, right. up here like that. Um, and last I would spend money on is on a mount and a tripod. Uh, I wouldn't, even if you buy this, I wouldn't use this all the time, but it is after five, ten minutes of holding your phone up like this, your arms get tired. So it is a nice thing to have. Uh, with all of this, um, including two lapel microphones, so you can have two people on it, $78, not that expensive. This is all on Amazon Prime shipping, so free shipping. Um, just a kind of a way to get your feet wet. Uh, so let's say you want to take it even to one more level. Um, so I have this Mevo camera, uh, and I have to kind of give a warning. This Mevo camera is still in kind of testing. Um, we've used it before. We don't use it as our primary camera because it is still very buggy, but mm -hmm. I wanted to give the audience kind of ideas of what's developing and what's coming. Right. Um, but what's really cool about this Mevo camera is that it's a 4K camera. So it has this huge uh, vision, um, kind of angle of, of view, and you can tap where in the, that 4K space you want to show the camera. So you could have two people standing next to one another, and you could actually, it looks like you're switching cameras between the two mm -hmm. off the one camera. Again, I'm not recommending anybody go buy it today. Very buggy, but there are developing products. So if, if this is something that interests you, make sure you kind of keep an eye out on it. Um, you know, if you do have $300 and you want to be part of the testing, go ahead and try it. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, it has an Ethernet connection, so you can get a better uh, internet connection on it. Um, you can use external mics with it. It has its own mic. Uh, it has an SD card you can record. So it's, it's very cool. Um, but again, don't. I'm not an endorsing this product either. <laughs> um, Definitely. Well, there's plenty of camp there's plenty of probably products out there that you could probably Google or Amazon or find it out. It's they're they're, they're, co they're coming. Yeah. They're coming. This is such a new technology, mm -hmm. and Facebook actually hasn't um, released a lot of, has allowed a lot of people to even get into it. Right. So as Facebook is allowing more and more people, um, as this camera gets more successful, the, the market will grow. Um, but just kind of keep an eye out for that. Um, and lastly is a lot of money. And this is for people who probably already have cameras at their organization. They already have a studio. Um, and they, they want to have a really professional product. Um, so Wirecast is this really cool software. Uh, you could teach it to yourself in an afternoon. Um, and that allows you to take a video from your computer and push it out. Um, in order to get that video onto your computer, um, you would obviously need a computer. Um, you would need an HD camera with an HDMI or SDI output, um, or if you already have a switcher at your organization, um, you can use an output from that. And then you need a way to get the uh, video signal and the audio signal onto your computer. Um, we use the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Express. Um, it's $470. It's really reliable, really durable. Um, and that way, uh, that's what we, um, that's what we use at my job, and you know we could push exactly what we're doing out uh, on Facebook Live. We ha we already have you know the cameras, we have the internet connection, everything like that. Um, this is how you see the really professional products. This is how you see the news organizations doing it, uh, Facebook doing it, everything like that. Um, it's expensive. It's a big investment, um, but you get a consistent product. You can do graphic overlays. Um, you, you know, you can put people's names on mm -hmm. over them. Right. Uh, I'm sure you could see the little square here. You could do that. <laughs> um, you can, you know, you can correct right. color. Um, you can turn the audio up and down. Just things like that. It gives you more control. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, if you're really looking to be a professional with this, uh, look into Wirecast. Um, it's it, it's kind of similar to editing. It's kind of similar to switching. It's 
it's a merge of the two, right. um, which is really interesting. Okay, so we, we know how to do it. We have the video. Um, it's time for us to actually go live. Um, so the first thing that I always recommend for people to do is create a rundown. Uh, rundown is kind of production term, so throw it around and let people think that you're really smart and fancy. <laughs> um, but basically, it just means a game plan. Uh, how long are we going to go live? Um, Facebook recommends always go live for at least 10 minutes. That's how you're going to get the most amount of viewers. Uh, that's how it's going to get pushed highest in the algorithm. Um, you can go 20 minutes. I mean, there's really no limit to how long you go. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you don't want to be live for three hours. I think 10 to 20 minutes is kind of the sweet spot. Right. Um, you know, and that's kind of the beauty of going live. You don't have to, if you say I'm going 15 minutes and you go 14 minutes and 30 seconds, doesn't matter. <laughs> so at the beginning, should you tell people how long you're probably going to go, or does that matter? I, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, and you, too, you don't want to like pigeon your, hold yourself into a box. Yeah. Because let's say you say, okay, we're going to go live for 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and then you're having great conversation. Right. And you go 15. Right. Um, I would try to ma remain consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, don't do a five-minute show one day and then a 15-minute show the next. But you know, if you do a 10-minute show one day, a 15-minute show the next day. 17 minute show, 12 minute show, you know, it's all in the same ballpark, it all right. has the same feel. Um, you want to invite guests onto your show who will be, again, interesting, topical, um, somebody that you have good rapport with, too, mm -hmm. that, that, you know, uh, ask you questions, will add another, you know, uh, another side to the conversation. Um, and then, it, you know, if you are using Wirecast or something more important, creating graphics, you know, lower thirds, you know, if you want to have an intro. Uh, sometimes at, at the Daily Signal, we'll throw to other pre-produced packages that we've made. Um, you know, really making it, making it interesting and official. Uh, you know, depending on how form, formal you're getting with this, you know, you might want to make a Google Doc and write all this down, um, or you know, if, if just kind of a fun thing, just kind of make mental notes. Um, but really, just kind of make sure you know how long you're going to go um, and what you're going to talk about. So before going live, um, Facebook themselves really advocate for you to post to let people know, OK, hey, I'm going to go live in 10 minutes. Um, make sure you're watching. That way people are, are looking for you. Uh, you're mm -hmm. already kind of building up the buzz about the Facebook Live. Uh, and then before you go live, to create an uh, exciting title and an exciting description. Um, you know, don't be like, I'm going live. Like, <laughs> I'm going live at location. We're going to talk about this. And then ask a question in the description. You know, could what America take on yeah. more, net, more debt? Uh, you know, what do you want to talk about? Exactly. Um, and ask other groups and organizations to go live. Uh, organizations are always looking to build their digital brand. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're always looking to, to collaborate with groups. So, you know, this is kind of a, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. Right. Tell them, hey, I'm going to go live at 10. Can you share this? Mm -hmm. And I'll share something of yours later. Right. Have you found that a more spot, you know, spontaneous feel to these works better than, than saying, hey, in about a week, we're going to do this Facebook Live event? Yeah, I think a, a week is a little bit of an overkill. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could tell people the day before, right. uh, a couple hours before. It doesn't have to be five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's, it's social media. People have a Brain, brain, brain span? <laughs> Bandwidth of a goldfish. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, you just want to have people be on their radar. Mm -hmm. um, attention span, that's the word. Attention span, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, but again, uh, I really do want to hammer on the fact, ask other groups and organizations, if you have multiple Facebook pages yourself, mm -hmm. um, share it across your own pages. Uh, do whatever you can to kind of build up your audience. OK, so once you're live, um, ask people to subscribe. Uh, Facebook, once you subscribe, pe Facebook will notify people, hey, you know, Kyle is live. The Leadership Institute is live, um, which will definitely, if you're sitting at your computer and you see so-and-so is live, you're going to click on it. You're going to see what they're doing. Um, so you turn a one-time viewer into an every-time viewer. Um, and then I have be interactive, be interactive, be interactive, be interactive, be interactive. <laughs> That's the whole point of Facebook Live. You need to be interactive. Uh, you want to know wh who your viewers are, where they're coming from, why they're watching, what they're thinking, you know, what they're wearing that day, who their mom is. Everything you can know about your audience, you want to find out, you want to use Facebook Live um, as that tool to do so. 
that's all I got for my presentation, so I'm happy to take questions. And actually, Kyle, do we have time? We do have a lot of time, so oh, yeah, we, we have plenty of time to, to, uh, to run a little experiment. Um, so I'll let awesome. You... Yeah, so I wanted to take time to show everybody how easy it is um, to go live on Facebook. Uh, and I have our uh, lovely uh, studio crew who's going to be our, uh, our talent. Um, so <laughs> all I'm doing right now on my phone, as you can see, I am going to the Pages app where Kyle has graciously made me an admin of the Leadership Institute. I'm going to click Go Live. I'm going to describe my live. It's going to be exciting. Exciting times in the LI studio during fa Facebook live studio training. Join us in the conversation. Again, this is why I don't write emails. <laughs> but so all we're going to do is we're going to hit go live. And so I have Kyle. It's given me a countdown. Three, two, one. So here's Kyle. And Perfect. We'll and we'll show you here. We are here. opening up the news feed here to see what's happening. And oh, here, Kyle, you're my friend who's helping with this. Perfect. Should I, sh I'll, sh I'll turn it to you. Yeah. There we go. Opening it up. We are. There's a slight delay. Um, here, you can see it here. Um, we are live here on the LI's Facebook. Oh, yeah. Um, there so, we are. Uh, so, yeah, so expect about a seven second delay. Mm -hmm. um, there's Kyle. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Ashley. We have Laurel. You can see the live here. Great. So, it's, it's definitely, um, and we're going to finish this. Um, so, it's just definitely a really cool tool to use, really easy tool to use. Mm -hmm. I wanted to. To show everybody. Yeah, that's really what? cool. I mean, I mean, I'm seeing it. We're seeing it happen on yeah. your on your computer over here, and the slight delay, of course. But uh, but yeah, it's just a, a really easy tool to mm -hmm. uh, to pull up. Right. Um, and you had mentioned to me before the broadcast had started about uh, the Facebook.com for live page yes. that we quickly want to show people. So um, uh, viewer discretion. All of these dots are somebody going live. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't right. know what I'm going to pull up, but it, right. it's really cool. If you, if you're ever kind of curious about, um, you know, what are others doing? How is Facebook Live being used? Or if you want to see different people from around the country, Facebook.live forward Facebook.com forward slash live is a live map of everybody who is going live across the country uh, and even across the world. I was telling um, Kyle. Uh, it was really interesting during Hurricane Matthew. Mm -hmm. um, you could kind of scroll down the coast of Georgia into Florida and see people. They were Facebook living from their house. Um, you know, you can see people at presidential debates. They're all clumped together. Um, you know, during the conventions, we saw it. Uh, you know, if there's different festivals, stuff like that. You, and mm -hmm. you can tell, um, you know, kind of based on where the dots are. And we can right. just hover over one. Uh, so, you know, that's a news organization covering the Trump speech. Uh, another news organization covering the Trump speech. Uh, that's a guy in his house. Uh, that's a looks like some sort of protest, maybe. So it's just really cool to kind of go around the country and see what people are doing, uh, get ideas, um, and uh, you know, be part of that national conversation. We can see the whole world is on there as well. Great. Well, um, we're going to take some questions from our audience. Awesome. Um, and then wrap things up here. Uh, so during, we, we had one question come in on Twitter today, which is great. Um, the, and, the twi uh, and the question is, does Facebook Live allow for a split screen um, so that more than one user can be sh streaming at the same time? No. No. Um, the fancier things that we were talking about, right. um, you can use Wirecast. Two shows split screens. Um, you know, if you want to bring in somebody via Skype, things like that. Mm -hmm. But just on your phone, uh, pretty much what you see is what you get. Right. Um, you can just kind of share one square right. of your video. Right. So you'd have to. You probably have to get one of those mics and stand back a little farther to have two people discussing exactly. something at the um, same time. But we do that all the time. Right. Um, we will go out in the field, mm -hmm. um, and we will uh, basically all. 
have my phone here and I'll just literally go closer mm -hmm. and I'll literally pull back. And, and when you're doing it, it almost feels silly, but when you're watching it, um, it feels really organic. It feels like if right. you were watching these two people talk, that's kind of where your focus would go. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you see this as the biggest benefit for marketers in terms of getting building your brand? What I mean, what what have you, yeah? What what do you see as the biggest benefit? Um, it would definitely be just getting your content to the top of Facebook's newsfeed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the video is engaging. It, right. It's moving around. People are always on Facebook. It's a great way, but it's also too. You know, you might have a really great audience when it comes to emails or mm -hmm. when it comes to, you know, liking your photos. Right. This is a way to ask them what they care about. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, you don't only only build your brand, but you get to know your brand right. through this. And possibly they interact with your video content and then down the road when you do something else on Facebook, they're going to be exactly. much more willing to interact with that. And maybe it's a call to action to say, hey, sign up for this training, come to the Leadership Institute and train. Oh, well, they wouldn't have seen it if they didn't interact with your video earlier. Before. Exactly. And what they'll do sometimes is uh, they will uh, we'll do is we'll have somebody else watching the Facebook comments and they'll comment, um, we'll, they'll respond to people that mm -hmm. we don't have time to respond to in the, the Facebook Live with actual articles from mm -hmm. our, uh, our website. Right. So it's a really great way to kind of then share your content through that. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here, we got a few more questions coming in uh, from our, um, oh, here's a good one. Uh, what is your favorite heritage? Um, Facebook live that video you've done? So the Union Jack one was definitely, I think I gave up my two favorite ones while we were talking. Um, the Union Jack one is really cool where they raised the Union Jack over the Capitol. Uh, another part that I didn't bring up about the Planned Parenthood one, um, what we were discussing is that it was literally, you know, if I was the Planned Parenthood, um, you were the a charter school next door. Mm -hmm. They were just right next to one another. So it was, I mean, it was, very interesting to right. be able to be there and to show people, mm -hmm. you know, how terrible it was. Right. That this Planned Parenthood was opening literally the, the school windows right look into the there. And which I think if you took a picture, or, you know, if you were just showed, made a video of it, you really couldn't convey that as well as a Facebook Live. Um, in terms of, so I have a sorority sister that I don't even, we weren't friends in my sorority, <laughs> but we're Facebook friends. And she's really into CrossFit. She, she doesn't even know talking about her um, but she uses Facebook live to show off her really cool CrossFit stuff mm -hmm. which I think is the greatest use of hey look what I'm doing this right. is, you know she doesn't do it for hours it's mm -hmm. just her like hey I can do 15 pull-ups isn't this cool I think it's such a great use um, my foot my UCF Knights uh, they do Facebook Lives after every football game with the coaches mm. and literally just videos of the, the players walking on the, the locker room uh, excited after a win, so uh, I, the New York Times did a Facebook Live with my favorite band on um, Monday where they would just play a couple songs and answer a couple questions, mm -hmm. play a couple songs. Um, so I guess my answer is I have a lot of favorite <laughs> Facebook Lives, and so, now all the ones that y'all make are going to be my new right. favorites. So. Yeah, so what you're saying is we probably could have a whole other webinar on this topic yeah, alone. Exactly. We could just go through every one of your fav favorite Facebook Live uh, videos. Um, great. Well, if somebody at home today wants to learn more about this topic or if they want to, um, uh, you know, help setting it up, as you mentioned throughout the broadcast, what, what's your contact information? I will pull it up. Yeah. It is lauren.evans at heritage.org. Mm -hmm. uh, I have also put my own personal Facebook on there. Okay. Uh, if you want to see, oh, that's another one of my favorite Facebook Lives. I was at the RNC and I Facebook Live the balloons coming down. Oh, wow. Which was really cool. Um, so please follow me. Uh, reach out to me there if it's easier for you. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash daily, the daily signal news. Uh, we go live uh, once a day, if sometimes not even twice a day, um, from our fancy new studio. I uh, really recommend you subscribe to that. You watch that for ideas. Uh, you know, even hit me up if, if you have any suggestions on what we could be doing better. Let me know. Um, but we're really excited about that. And uh, it's definitely something that we're really pushing. And um, we've really found a great audience through mm -hmm. that as well. 
Great. Well, thank you for joining us thank today. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, this was an exciting conversation, and I think that a lot of people learned a lot of things today, and hopefully that we'll be seeing a lot more Facebook Live videos. Awesome. Go do it, y'all. <laughs> and thank you all for tuning in today. Um, as always, this broadcast was recorded uh, and can be viewed later online, and you can see that video at leadershipinstitute.org slash activism on demand. Uh, this video will be here in hopefully about a week's time, and then, but in the meantime, you can also go there and see all of our old videos as well. Um, our next webinar uh, will be in November, uh, and that will be with Morton Blackwell, who is, will be talking about the life of the party. Um, so that should be another good webinar that you all will not want to miss. Um, stay tuned for, de for more details about that webinar. Thank you again for joining us today, and have a good night. Political technology determines political success. That's why Martin Blackwell created the Leadership Institute to train and equip conservative activists with the best tools available. Located in Arlington, Virginia, across the street from the Clarendon Metro Station, LI is metro accessible from both Reagan National Airport and Dulles International Airport. Public and overnight parking garages are also located nearby. If you requested housing during your training, check in with the security guard in the lobby after 5 p.m. Not all trainings offer housing. Guests staying at LI in the Dudley and Phyllis Whitman dormitories are to follow the instructions and the codes of conduct outlined in the dormitory contract. Students staying in the dorms have access to showers and basic amenities. At the start of the training, an LI representative will greet you and confirm your registration. Trainings are taught by a prominent network of volunteer faculty, all of whom are experts in their field. LI offers 44 different types of training including classes in campaign management, communications, fundraising, and campus activism. Media classes are taught in the Sacker Multimedia Center on the fourth floor. In our studios, you will learn top-notch skills for public appearances. Join the Leadership Institute's growing network of conservative activists. Everything LI does is made possible through the generosity of our donors. Click this link to be